We have more on our breaking news now. Several uh, students, a total of eight people uh, in Delray Beach from Atlantic High School there are being treated for an incident that happened uh, a few moments ago during a pep rally. News Channel 5's Charlie Keegan is now joining us live from the scene in Delray Beach to tell us exactly what is happening. First Charlie. things first, I want to let you know we just spoke with the Delray Beach Fire Department. They tell me that actually school and classes are going back to normal here at Atlantic High School behind me, starting to resume the day as it would. But they told us earlier in the day at a pep rally around 10 o'clock, there was some sort of a demonstration involving pyrotechnics and the man leading that demonstration accidentally lit himself on fire. That man has been taken to the hospital with severe burns. We have some video of that uh, inside the gym where that pepper light was taking place. We have uh, we want to show you the video of the performance leading up to the point of the man actually catching on fire out of respect to, to him. We do not want to show you uh, and publish that video of him actually catching on fire. Again, just spoke with a captain from the Delray Beach Fire Department. He tells us that a total of eight people were taken from the school to area hospitals, D Delray Medical Center and Bethesda Hospital. They say of those eight, one was the performer, an adult man with burns. The seven others were students here at Atlantic High School who suffered from uh, smoke inhalation or inhaled some of the um, uh, powder and, and material from a fire extinguisher. The captain said that the school administrators here did a great job having a fire extinguisher ready and able to use it and put out this fire inside the gym during the pep rally, kept it from spreading, becoming an even bigger incident. And again, like I said, everything is going back to normal inside the high school. Classes are starting up again, but seven students were taken to the hospital, to area hospitals with smoke inhalation. That is a non-life-threatening injury. The captain expects them to be okay after this incident, but just want to get them checked out and looked into. The performer, though, the man who is using this kind of pyrotechnic um, display, who set himself on fire accidentally, is suffering more severe injuries, burns to his body. We don't know the exact um, specifics about those burns, but we do know that they are severe, and he has been taken to the hospital as a trauma alert, which is one of the more uh, serious uh, ways to get to the hospital. And we have actually another reporter, Katie Johnson, at Delray Medical Center. We want to send it over to her where she's learning more about uh, what's going on over there. And I was just listening to that same press conference where Charlie is at. I listened to Fire Rescue. They said eight people were transported, including one trauma transport. That person taken right here behind me to Delray Medical Center. This is one of the few trauma centers in our community. We're told by the school district that two other students were brought here as well, suffering from smoke inhalation. We're also told that... Uh, a couple other students, at least five others, were taken to an area hospital. It's not clear where they were taken, but again, according to Delray Fire Rescue, all of them suffering from smoke inhalation, problems caused by smoke inhalation, but the fire rescue telling us it won't cause any long-term problems, and luckily, uh, all these people are okay. If you saw the, We saw the video from inside that pep rally, quite a scary scene, and luckily, nobody trampled over each other, which could have been another problem caused by this with everybody running out to safety, and again, school officials working quickly to get that fire out so there were very few injuries and the three again taken here to Delray Medical Center one trauma patient and two students again for smoke inhalation we're live in Delray Beach Katie Johnson WPTV News Channel 5